We're gonna pump you up. This is our review of Don't Skip Leg Day. Don't Skip Leg Day is a card drafting game about doing the best workouts, and I honestly didn't know that leg day was so taboo. You don't want to skip leg day, but you may want to skip over some of the rules to make this game more enjoyable. We'll tell you all about it after this quick how to play. The game takes place over two rounds, with each player starting off each round with nine cards, seven of which will be played. Players will choose a card and play it simultaneously with all players. In the first round, odd turns have their cards revealed, and the even turns have their cards played face down. In the second round, the opposite occurs, with the even turns revealing the cards. Players will try to create sets that meet scoring conditions while also playing leg day cards that aren't worth any points. After two rounds, players reveal their cards and add up their scores. The player with the least amount of leg day cards is immediately eliminated. The remaining player with the highest score wins. Bro! Bro. We were sent a copy of the game from Panasaurus so that we could do this review video. If you'd like to find out more information or to buy a copy of the game, check out the link in our description below. As you can tell from looking at the setup here, this would be what happens at the end of two rounds. So it's a simple card game, it's card drafting. You're gonna have nine cards, you're gonna play a card on your turn, pass, play a card, pass. Round two, you're gonna pass in the opposite direction. In round one, you're playing face up, then face down. In round two, you're playing face down, then face up and you want to try to create sets that create scoring conditions. Similar to a couple other card drafting, card playing games out there, but what makes this one different is its theming. With the shaker bottle, I like the theming, kind of a fun way to present a board game and have that. And then you have the artwork, which is different kind of workouts that you can do. Now, the one thing I have to say is I don't really understand the leg day mechanics of it. I understand it's like, oh, like bodybuilder, oh, don't skip leg day, you skip leg day, bro, kind of thing. I understand where that theming comes from. It's just kind of weird how it's implemented in here. It almost makes you feel like, yeah, you don't want to do leg day because it's not worth any, but at the same time, you just don't want to be the person who does the least amount of leg day. So it's sort of like, you don't have to do leg day, but you just need to do enough of it not to be the person with the scrawniest legs in the gym is kind of what I'm getting from the vibe of this game. In terms of game design, if the idea was there that like in the back of your mind, you're supposed to have that anxiety of like, oh man, I don't want to be the one with the least amount of leg days. Oh man, I like, you know, that just haunts you throughout the whole, like short game, but haunts you throughout the whole game, then good job there. But I didn't really like that because I'm like, oh, they have three and now oh, what do I do? So I went way overboard in the second round and like overcorrected too much where they were just fine. They were like, no, nope, we're not going to do any more leg days. Gotcha, Lee. I would have to say the leg day mechanic, while being confusing to me as far as the theming, was also confusing to me as far as the mechanics because when you get to the end of the game, the player with the least amount of leg days is immediately eliminated. And I don't really like that mechanic because then that player is left with this taste of, I did all that for nothing. Yes, it's a short game, as Lee mentioned, but it's still, it's like, yeah, we just spent 15 minutes playing. I tried to be pretty strategic about which cards I was playing, which cards I was showing you, which cards I kept hidden, et cetera. And now I'm just eliminated because I had the least amount of leg day. I do think that there should be a penalty for the leg day. Like you can have however many players are scoring, however many leg days you're behind, you minus that amount from each card that you're behind. So you could still lose a lot of points, but if strategically you then went after other sets and got a high score, you can really kind of make it work to your advantage rather than just, I'm eliminated, fun. Now, as we're drafting and our, we're passing our hands and stuff, it reminds me of like Seven Wonders with the combat cards, right? Because I know after each round or something, you're supposed to like combat. So you can, as you see everyone's hands, you can start counting like, oh, combat, combat. All right, I'll be good. But like the theming wise of just like the gym working out, like, okay, wide pull-up grip is only worth two points. But if you want these, like you got to collect more of those. So the set collection I get and everything and each day, right? It's like, oh, this day I went to the gym. This day I worked at a home, so no one knows what I did. Then this day I went to the gym. So I get it. I don't know if there are like huge like gym rats or gym enthusiasts that like rush to the store and get this, but it's still a quick game, plays pretty fun, just quick set collection and you know, bro. As we kind of joked about in our unboxing video, which if you haven't seen, check out the link in our description below. We're like, how much overlap is there in the board gaming community between board gaming and gym bros and how, 
what games are they playing? And I would have to say if there is kind of overlap, I'm not necessarily sure that they would be playing these types of games. I think that this is a much lighter game, but I just feel like the theme isn't going to be something that draws it. Like I wouldn't be drawn to this. We go to the gym a lot, but I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, let's play the gym game. It could have been a lot better use of theme and or it could have been a lot better mechanics where the theme wouldn't be all that important and then you can tack the the gym bro theme onto it. So I don't know, I just kind of kind of left like, eh, about this game. I did think the theming was kind of fun. Like it's two weeks and you're putting your, you know, these are my public exercises. These are my secret exercises, public, secret, public, secret. So I like how they made that as like each day of the week and you do it for two weeks. Um, I'll give it that. That was kind of unique. I haven't seen that yet. I like the basic mechanics of the game. I do think it has some interesting ideas as far as being a card drafting game. And then you could see one card, then you can't see the next card. And then in the next round you reverse that and you can't see and then you can see. So it makes it interesting of, oh, what card did Kenny play? Rather than just everyone seeing what cards I'm playing. And then you can kind of plan your strategy around that. You have to plan around what you can see and be like, well, he didn't play any leg days. Are they all face down or is Kenny rate wagering or betting that I'm not going to play that many? Like, well, how many are there? What did you not like about the game? Uh, it's got to be just the rule about leg day. Like you could play with, how many people does it say? You could play with up to three to six. So whether you play with three or six, there's always going to be that one person that probably did a lot. And then all of a sudden they're the lowest one at leg days. And then it's like, you're out. I also didn't like the leg day rule, but I'll mention something else, which I kind of went over a little bit already. The theming and the mechanics, the merging of those. When you read the rule book, it's like, all right, bro, you got to work out, bro. You're going to do this, bro. And then on here, it's like, oh, don't skip leg day. All oh, your legs are so thin. You don't want to be like that, that guy. But at the same time, you don't want to work out at the gym because you don't want to show everyone that you're doing leg day. So it's really that masculine mentality of it. And I just feel like the card game, it's just kind of very blase and like, oh, okay, do this, do that, do this, do that. I feel like they could have went even more heavy into the, the bro theming and kind of went like, oh, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, and you really have to do all these things. And I don't know, I just feel like it's missing some mechanics. The way it is now, it just kind of feels like, oh yeah, you had an idea and you put it out there, but you didn't like really take it as far as you could have gone with it. And it just feels like an incomplete idea. <laughs> Overall, the packaging was creative. It's pretty quick to teach, easy to play, so I'll give it that. I just don't know if this is gonna be one of our like go-to easy games. I'll probably give it a four. It was fun to play it. I do think that you could house rule it to make it better. Eliminate the leg day rule, change up the way that you play a little bit, maybe play three rounds instead of two rounds. I think that would help a little bit as well. So I do think you could house rule it to be better, but as it stands right now with the base rules that you have to play with, I'll probably give it a five. And that was our review of don't skip leg day. What'd you think? Are you roid raging to play this game? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. I'm Kenny, and go party like a board gamer.